Hello everyone. Very good morning and good evening to all. Let us start our today's session. Yesterday we have seen how to read the data from a flat file and load it into a table. So we will continue that. So whatever we have seen yesterday, so source is like a CSV file, right? So like a comma separated value file. So if the CSV file, so mostly they will place the CSV file, our customer will place, our source team will place the CSV file in the source path. Okay, so some, some folder, so they will place the file. So even they're going to have a cloud system, so they can place the file in cloud system as well, like AWS S3, so they can place the file at Google Cloud Platform. So we have the GCS, Google Cloud Storage. So there also we can keep the file. It is not only like a CSV file, so they can place CSV file, JSON file, XML file, Excel file, and Avro file, Parquet file. So different kind of files, they can keep it. So CSV is nothing but comma separated value file, right? So we have this, this kind of file. So can we have any other type of file? Yes. So we can have one more file is called so fixed with file. So what is this fixed with file, right? So each and every field in this file is fixed with. So we have a different width here. So we may get some source file. I will show you so that we can load this particular data. So if you see this, so I will take some fixed width file here. So we'll try to load this particular data. So I will take this customer file. This is the customer file we have. And I will show you the what is fixed with file. So if you see this, so this is the fixed with file. Do we have a header in this file? No. So this particular file doesn't have a header. So yesterday we have seen a file with header. So today we'll see how to read the data from the file without header as well. And also it's a different format. So here the format is fixed with file. So what is fixed with? So each and every field here. So normally how Informatica will identify? So we need to have some identifier, right? Some delimiter we need to have. So if Informatica finds this particular delimiter, it will assume that, okay, this is my employee ID. So this is my first name. But fixed with is nothing but, so we'll go for, okay, we will define like employee ID is five characters. If you see this, so this is five characters for employee ID. So first to five characters, they are allocating for employee ID. So next, so next, for example, 12 characters. See this 12 characters, we are allocating for first name. So up to here, we are allocating for first name. So maximum we are allocating the number of character. We are allocating maximum like a 12 characters for first name. So it should have first name. So if I have last name, it should start from this particular position only. Okay, it's like a boundary. We will set the boundary. So for each and every field, we'll set up boundary. Okay, from this particular position to up to here, it is nothing but last name. So whatever the name, we are going to keep it here. So that should be like last name. Okay, so this is what we'll keep. So then from here, say for an example here, I'm starting. So from here while starting, I will take it like, okay, this is my data birth. Okay, customer's data birth or data joining or whatever it may be. So how many characters here? So I will take 10 characters, right? So next 10 characters will be data birth. So from here, it will be like we have, so from here I'm going to take, so from here, right hand side, so how many characters? So we can take here, so 10 characters. It's like a customer name. So this way we will define it. Okay, so for each and every field. For an example, you may ask question, if if I have more than 10 characters of this last name, so what should I do? So we have to define in the structure itself. Okay, in the beginning of the structure itself, in the design phase itself, we have to define. Okay, maximum we expect the last name to be 50 characters. You assume that, yeah. So for safer side, I'm saying. So then I will put 50 characters here. Okay, so this way. So then up to here, it will be a last name. Safer site. Okay, so you, if you are getting four characters or 40 characters, it is not an issue. 
so we will define okay so next three characters for last name so this way we will define it so this particular data is called data file is called fixed with file so in order to read this kind of this kind of file okay so do we get this kind of file in real time yes definitely we'll get it so then how can i read this file we kept the file here it's a customer file and i will go to the target table so i will create one table for this and you can also create this particular table so it's a customer fixed with customer id first name last name date of birth city so with the five columns and number of characters so target we can have more number of characters also so what i will do i will truncate all this table okay so just i deleted so it will get deleted man manually i did it so as of now there is no data in this particular table so this table you have to create it so i will give you the create table statement or you can also create fw is nothing but fixed with so that is what i just named it so you can see there is no data in this particular table so what i'm going to do i'm going to read this so in order to read this file so first we have to define the structure of the file so where can we define go to data integration so just to go to data integration click on new is taking some time to load go to new so normally we will create a new mapping and then we will start mapping it right but for fixed with file we have to first we have to define the the fixed with file format so go to components here in this particular assets just go to components the components you can find fixed with file right yes so configure reusable formats for fixed with flat files to use in the mapping and mapping task so we'll create it we are informing iacs okay this is the format we'll get it here the fixed with file format 3 so we can take this name itself no issues so this is the location i'm going to keep it if you want to put some descriptions you can put sample file connections okay so where is the connection sample file so we can take this connection itself yesterday we created right so this connection we can take it and sample object we will select the object here so this particular path so this is the file here i can select it see this file doesn't have any header as of now so you can see this particular column boundaries so you can select from the zero so zero position so up to five characters up to here you just keep the cursor here and first we are selecting so this should be uh, okay zero to five characters one boundary it's nothing but employee id or customer id so what are the field you have so then up to here 5 to 17 12 characters for first name then keep the cursor here so then keep the cursor here if you have selected wrongly then we can remove it so we can just uh, you can remove this one and we can go up to here it's like a next character so how many field 1 2 3 4 5 field we have so it doesn't have any header right yes so then we will define the header here so go to edit columns edit columns here we can put the column name so what is the column name first column customer id yes then second column we are the first name then we have last name date of birth city we'll take it this way last name date of birth take the city so date of birth so what is the data type here we have to define each and every field data type customer id is number first name we will define it's a string only last name string this is date and time and city is string only but here the date and time format alone it's asking the format so what is the format of this particular date we'll open it we'll see see this format is we can define okay it's like mm dd yy or ddmmyy slash so we can define in this way right we can put here mm slash dd slash yyy format so whatever the format we are getting the source we can define so then you may ask question here why you haven't described the column length for customer id see customer id we have defined here itself five characters right so automatically it will take that boundary so no need to define here it will automatically define so this way we will define this one characters okay 
If it is decimal, yeah, decimal also will go for number only. So number only, we will define total characters here. So first, or you can read the decimal as character, and then in the in the expression transformation, you can convert it function to number. You can use it or to the conversion function. We can use it. Okay. So if the file contains any any header, for an example, if the file contains any header. You have to go to additional attributes. So go to this additional attributes. You can edit edit the additional fixed width attributes here. If the file contains any header, so then we have to put here. Okay, so number of rows to skip. So if the file contains header, then we have to make it like a one. If it doesn't have any header, then we can make it like a zero itself. Okay, so here based on the file properties, we have to define the extra properties here. Okay, so we just defined it. Click OK here. So that's it. So we haven't changed anything. Save here. So it will get saved here. Okay, so we define fixed with file format. So now we will go to mapping. So go to new mappings. Similar way we have to create a mapping here. Go to the mapping and create new mapping. M underscore fixed with file, right? Yes. So we'll go to fixed with file so data so we are going for customer data so this way we will define it so first i will go to the source so here i have to take the source the source i will take the source connection here yesterday we created the connection right so we will take the same connection but source type here right so we have to choose single object only so as of now we are seeing the single object we have to choose the object here yes we have to choose the object the object is this is the object right source file yes we'll choose then where we will define it is a fixed with file or or csv file go to the formatting options here right yesterday we have seen the previous session we have seen so how to for how to define the format so go to formatting options so here we have the flat file type in the flat file type we have seen delimited file so now it's a fixed with file so just we have to define it is a fixed width file, right? So to use a fixed width file, so you must have already configured a fixed width file format. Yes, we already configured it. So this is the configuration we did it right today. So file format three. So just you can choose this, then click OK here. So it will automatically it will populate. So you can, if you want, you can just preview the data. So you can run the preview and so here itself, you can check whether it is reading the data or not, right? So it is just correctly reading. So even if you have three records or, or any number of record, it doesn't matter. So only thing is, so how we are defining the columns, that is the important one. Okay, so we have defined. We'll go to the field now. So you can see the field, the customer ID, decimal, five characters, right? So we have here. So if I want to change it, scale or something, yes, you can put, so decimal, so precision and scale we can define here. For an example, you are having some salary column. So 10 comma 2, yes, total characters 10 out of that two characters are decimal. So that we can define it here. So string 12 characters, all this we have defined everything. So date and time format we have defined already. Yes, that's it. Okay. So we'll go to the next target. We'll take the target here. We'll define the target here. I will go to the target table and take the select options. We will we will take the target table here. So target table is so this is the target table. So you can choose this target table. Click OK here and just search it. So then we'll have the table here, right? Yes. So then if you want to truncate the target table before loading, yes, you can choose truncate and load or to field mapping. So here, if you have exact name, yes, you can go for auto map, the smart map, right? Even if it is if it has partial name, so it will automatically smart map it. Okay, so but look up and all, we will not go for smart map. We have created the mapping now. So do we need to create a mapping task for this compulsory? Yes, we have to create the real time project. We will create to define some task level properties, but here not necessary. So we can run. So I'll go to run. 
click on run here it has been started and you can see here so we'll check it is starting okay so three records got loaded so you can see here all the three record has been loaded now so even if you have millions of records this is the same process we have to follow but one notable point here it is see this is my first name right if you see the first name since we have defined the remaining characters it is taking null space so on the right hand side see here john how many characters four characters but we defined like 12 characters right so remaining eight spaces it is taking actually this is junk data we are loading right so we are loading junk data so we should not load this way you can see here some space if you are loading with the data it's junk data so we have to handle this. So how can I handle this? Instead of four characters, it has loaded with some 12 characters with space, right? So we have to handle this one. So we have to make some changes. So where can I make some changes? So here I will go here, the expression transformation, right? In between, but I will take expression transformation later, but here I'm going with the expression. So where can I change it? So I will do it for one particular field, O underscore, last underscore name, right? So this field I will take our first name. So even I can take first name, string, can go for some 30 characters and I will go for the configure here. Go to the configure, I have to make it like first name, right? So how can I remove the space on the both the side? So we have to go for our, our trim function. So we have to use our trim. So if you want to remove space on the left hand side, you have to put L trim. So there is no trim function directly in Informatica. Either you have to use R trim or L trim. Okay, so just to validate, be validated. So this is O underscore first name output. So then we have to configure here. So this should be done for other field as well, right? Last name as well. So just to go to first name, remove this. It's coming from source directly. So we'll take this first name here. So it's a manipulated column, right? Yes. So we, we change it. So then I'm just trying to load. So what will happen? Now it will truncate the existing data in the table. It will load it. Okay. So here you may ask question. So what is the job status? It's going for starting and then queue and everything. See here, it's like a cloud server, right? It's a cloud server. So in the cloud, so there will be not not only our jobs. So there are a lot of jobs will be there, right? So based on the organization ID, based on the, the resource and everything. So first here it will be started and it will be on the queue on the cloud server and the queue will be cleared one by one. Then automatically it will get executed. Why? Because it's a cloud server, right? So there will be a lot of, lot of jobs will be there based on the organization ID. So they have to run all the jobs based on the priority. So it will be running in the queue only, but the queue will get cleared quickly. So that's what they have so many multi-node cluster. So they will execute the job quickly. So that's what we have the different stage. So now it got loaded. You can check here. So there is no space on the right hand side, right? So similar way we have to handle it. See all this, so based on the customer need, we can handle it in our Informatica IACS based on the requirement. Okay, so this is the way we have to load the fixed width file. So I hope you are clear. So how to load the fixed width file. So you can take some fixed width file by yourself and try to load this particular data.